sharing what I've been wearing recently to beat the heat this summer, so some casual, chic summer outfit ideas just for you. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, it is your girl Jordan of Little Miss JB Style, your pear shape shorty style guru, lifestyle content creator. I'm so excited to be back. If you have been following me on Instagram, then you already know that I was in Morocco for a week and a half. So this past week has been me kind of getting back into the flow, catching up with stuff for work, catching up with stuff for like influencer life. So a lot of my outfits are very like comfy chic casual okay you're gonna see a lot of matching sets because that is my go-to when i just don't want to think about it but still want to look put together so you are gonna get tons of outfit ideas to beat the heat for when it's rainy just to look chic and put together as always if there's an outfit you are loving i understand because i bought it it's in my closet and you see me wearing it right because if you know me you know i'm not just gonna wear something once no 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 baby what you will see if you watch this series and watch my previous videos, I'm an outfit rewear. So if there's a piece you're loving, I get it because I bought it and again, wearing the heck out of it. So links are in the description below just for you. I make sure to note the sizing and if something is sold out, I try to do my best to link to something similar. So just a heads up there. Of course, to start off, we're going to go ahead and get into what exactly I am wearing today because I know you are going to ask. This is my outfit of the day. I have so much catching up to do. As you know, I was out in Morocco for almost a week and a half. Came back in this past week. It's just been like, go, go, go. Just random brand deals popping up. All of a sudden, new PR stuff popping up. So I'm very comfortable today because I have a lot of filming, a lot of B-roll, which is basically just like not me front facing the camera, but maybe like showing the products and things like that. So a lot of hands, cute hands, shots and things like that. So you see the cute rings. And again, we just have a very cozy outfit. You have seen this dress. This is the LNA dress. I love this dress. It was over $100 and I usually do not spend that much money on a basic like this. But when I tell you, literally worth any pity. I mean, one, you see how it just fits like a glove. Like it is serving body. It is serving curves. But it's so comfortable. So breathable. Like I want to go pick up my breakfast this morning. A little sandwich. And like... Com comfortable and that's what's really important for me obviously i love pieces that not only are sleek and chic and make my body look good but i also very much prioritize comfort and this like every time it hits okay so this is my just like casual saturday outfit for a day of just a lot of content creation and catching up on all those kinds of things so starting with what i wore last sunday i wore this matching set i literally had gotten off the plane maybe thursday was feeling tired slept most of the weekend and finally by sunday i was feeling like my old peppa steppa self ready to be outside and explore detroit so a a breezy matching set you've seen me wear matching sets before and you've seen this pretty little matching set i also have it in this green shade it's just a simple elegant no fail outfit idea i feel like whoever introduced us to the please stay trend thank you boo because we are loving it it is again just so easy so timeless and i just stepped it up it added a little bit of personality with the headscarf because i was not feeling like doing the curls wasn't feeling like getting it together so we had the headscarf which is old from lulu's the pretty little thing matching set the altered state platform sandals and i literally just wore this to explore downtown detroit i treated myself to breakfast at avalon bakery i grabbed myself a coffee from desert oasis one of my favorites i stopped into bird Bee to do just a little bit of shopping because i always find some fun one-off pieces or really good jewelry at bird Bee in detroit so one of my favorite places to stop i sat at campus marshes just enjoyed the weather and then walked down by the river walk to just enjoy the detroit air i love the people watch down there so if you're looking for a breezy outfit literally to either have a solo date which is basically what i did or to meet up with somebody for brunch or something again like a magic set like this you cannot go wrong okay moving into monday a another matching set i told you they have a grip on me it was a little gloomy a little you know dark outside so i wanted something a little more colorful and of course cozy so this pink matching set from NAKD. I got this on sale for 40% off. I am obsessed. At first, if you saw my new and collective haul, I talked about this. I was a little on the fence because of just some of the way the fabric was kind of put together for the top. It was a little more sheer in some places and I was afraid of it snagging, but it's so breathable. It is so comfortable. And like when I say it is hugging the curves, uh, and you know me, 
you know I love a good monochrome outfit, so that's what I went with. We have the top and the bottom, obviously the set. The Brandon Blackwood bag because obsessed. And then I actually have these old Seychelles heels that I've had for a while. I'm looking for a bit cuter pair of pink sandals. Um, still, I think I found a pair from Nordstrom here is what they look like, and they're currently on sale, so I'm, you know, about to make some moves, but... For an easy breezy day, I literally just went to go pick up some coffee, then was just working from home. Like, this set made the most sense. Super cozy. Again, if I had to turn on my camera for meeting, I look ready and put together. But very cozy, very loungy around the house, and that's my vibe right now. Moving into Tuesday, we had to meet with some suppliers, had to be a little more formal. So I went with a Miami-inspired work outfit. This top is actually from the Monroe Steel, The Drop. I returned it because this is what... I thought I was gonna get and I know there was the disclaimer that the, that the designs might not look the same but this just really wasn't I really wanted more pinks and more reds and more oranges so I I test run my clothes I am that person I will test run my clothes and, and be like okay but do I like it or do I hate it so this was my test run and I got compliments don't get me wrong this outfit got compliments but I wanted the pinks I wanted the oranges the green just wasn't my shade of green so I did ultimately end up returning this but this is a really fun way to add color to your workwear is a very fun pattern top with some breezy wide leg pants these are from mango you have seen these before and then i just paired up my shoes these are from h m um, to match the top to bring it all together again it was very fun very miami inspired it worked really really well for the weather and to meet up with my suppliers and go through the lab books and things that i do for work moving into wednesday another matching set i told you they have me in a clutch this week because it was so easy. So you've seen this matching set before. This is the FRM matching set, the zebra print. And I wore this also to meet up with some suppliers. The great thing about my job now is that I am work from home. So I don't actually have to go physically into the office. While I do still meet with my customers, which are suppliers, and they bring me lab books to review as a material science engineer by day, in case you missed that. Um, so I get to be a lot more casual, which I really, really love. And that's why my style has shifted so much more away from like the traditional workwear if you've been following me for a while you know i used to be like work wear outfit ideas dang near every month but because i don't work in a traditional setting anymore i've kind of shifted away from traditional workwear so this for me is a great work outfit because it's casual it's breathy but still professional i paired it with the h m sandals which actually got more compliments than the outfit i was a little hurt by that and then i have this oversized portland leather tote it is absolutely perfect i actually use this for my trip to Morocco, it fits so much and it is the perfect like work bag to fit everything into. So really loved this. Got a lot of compliments and again, super breezy because it has been hot and a little bit crazy and hectic with the weather. So definitely a great set. On Thursday, I wanted something breezy, something comfortable. I was working from home again. So I went with this outfit. If you watch my TikTok, you've seen a version of this outfit. This is actually a shirt dress from River Island. It is leopard print. It is so much fun. Crazy breathable, which is so important. I always look for cotton and linen blood materials especially for summer i have been doing my best not to buy anything that's polyester for summer because it's not breathable even when it's see-through like it's absolutely hot i am dying of heat exhaustion because it's very humid in michigan so i do avoid polyester now that i'm a little bit older as i shop for clothes for summer because it's like i know i'm about to basically give myself a heat stroke so this was absolutely perfect and I loved, loved, loved this because it's so breathable and I tied it up just into a cute crop top and paired it with my ALC shorts. I've had these for years. I love ALC brand and I thought and I thought this was just a fun way to do pattern and color without feeling too over the top and very chic. And then of course, to double down on the animal print, I went with my Lulu's sandals and topped it off with my Brandon Blackwood bag to have that little bit of matchiness. You know that I like to match and kind of make sure my outfits are cohesive. I'm not one to really do a lot of clashing with the colors and clashing with the prints. I definitely am a matchy matchy girl. And I find that that just makes it easier to put my outfits together and not really have to stress about like, does this go with this? So it's like, because the top had that yellowish tone to it, I knew it would go with the ALC shorts. And then with the animal print going into the Lulu sandals, it ties it all together again without being too overwhelming. So I was working from home, running a couple errands, doing a couple of returns. So this was a great just running to a couple of stores, buying some groceries and sitting around the house and getting my work done, answering some emails. So moving into Friday, the last outfit for this week. Again, working from home, very hot, wanted something chill. So this is what I went with. I have this asymmetric top from the line by K. I feel like I'm very much over like basic tops now. I am only elevated basics. I refuse to buy any more plain tank tops, plain camis. I want 
stuff like this because I feel like this is such an easy way to elevate an outfit to add something different without it feeling like it's too much work or feeling too different because one this tank top is one of the most comfortable tank tops that I own to the asymmetric shoulder just does add something di does add something different so even if i want to pair it with jeans you're already like oh okay because the top's different it does make the outfit kind of stand out a little bit more even though i'm not doing anything crazy then i paired it with my zara wide leg pants these are so breezy again the plisse pants trend whoever came up with that thank you thank you because i live in it like it's giving rich auntie but like casual rich auntie and then when I did leave the house, I paired it with the H&M sandals to add more texture, just to add a little bit more fun. But honestly, I was lounging around the house, sharing a bunch of my new wins, which if you didn't know, on Fridays on my Instagram stories, I share around 11 o'clock, 1 p.m., all the new and things I got for the week. So I did a big unveiling of this Ren skincare box I got. Origin sent me something really cool. And then I did buy a designer piece. All of that is also saved in a highlight on my Instagram as well. So if you do miss it, don't worry. It's in my highlights so you can see kind of the new in pieces because I know I don't share them as frequently here on YouTube, but I get those questions all the time. So that is when you can tune in and kind of catch those as well. So this was just a very easy breezy outfit similar to the one for today that I could film in, that I could do my emails in and catch up on everything I've been trying to catch up on because I have some really exciting brand things coming up and I cannot wait to share with you, but I got to keep it on the hush hush to everything signed and in place but keep your eye out on my tiktok specifically keep your eye out because uh exciting things are coming with that that is seven outfit ideas to beat the heat especially with the end of the summer and the weather fluctuating from rain to humidity to heat i wanted to give you just some easy outfit ideas things that are not overly complicated that you can throw on and go and look absolutely amazing and know you look amazing because that's all i want to do is help you figure out what works for your body, what makes you feel amazing, and encourage you to wear those things and embrace those things so that your style is how you want, you are feeling how you want, and you can tackle the other areas of your life with ease, knowing that you look how you wanna look and you're dressing how you wanna dress and you feel empowered. That is what I hope to do is empower you by giving you outfit inspiration, sharing my travels, sharing lifestyle content. So if that's what you're into, make sure you hit that follow button. Don't miss a video from me because I share them on Wednesdays and Saturdays unless I am traveling, but we're back on our regular schedule now. And speaking of travel, I will be sharing my Morocco recap on Wednesday, including packing for Morocco in a carry-on, so a carry-on suitcase and a carry-on tote bag, everything that I did in Morocco, and you get a sneak peek of the outfits. And I will be doing a separate video too, specifically to share like what to wear in Morocco, especially as a woman, what to expect what you can and can't do so keep your eye out some travel content as well as outfit inspiration for vacation coming to you in the next few videos on my channel with that thank you seriously for watching all the way until the end i'm very very curious which outfit was your favorite let me know in the comments below and i will catch you in a couple of days bye